Hello everyone, welcome to Amazon Tech Webcast. In this video, we are going to set up Active Directory sites and subnets in Windows Server 2019 Active Directory environment. You can use the Active Directory sites and services mapping to manage the site-specific objects that implement the inter-site replication topology in Active Directory. So let's open Active Directory sites and services console. For that, I'm going to click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Let's expand Sites and here you can see we have a one site with the name default first site name. At forest creation, the default Active Directory sites created automatically is called default first site name and it contains all the domain controllers which you have added to the domain until you define new sites and subnets in your Active Directory. Let's understand the virtual lab which I am using for this demonstration. The second example that we have a company with three locations, head office which is in Mumbai, branch office in Delhi and second branch office in Bengaluru connected through a WAN connection. In head office we have a two domain controllers and one in each branch office. This is a single domain forest name mylab.local and all the four domain controllers are in the same Active Directory site's default-first-site name. Let's take a look in our domain controller. If I expand site, if I expand servers, here you can see we have total four domain controllers and all the four domain controllers are in the same Active Directory site. All the domain controllers are running on Windows Server 2019. You should configure sites and subnets before adding your domain controllers because if you now take a look at our lab scenario, it is totally mass. For us, all the domain controllers are in a single site. I did this on the purpose of this video demonstration. So now it's time to let's clean up everything and let's create sites and subnets and then after we will move our domain controller to particular sites and in the last we will check a replication between all those domain controllers. Uh, again, I'm going back to the scenario. This is our lab setup uh, before we create sites and subnet. And we want this kind of structure where we have a Mumbai headquarters site, Delhi branch office site, Bengaluru branch office site, and with associated their subnets according to their network. Right now, I'm on our DC01. Already we have opened Active Directory Sites and Services Console. Now, first of all, uh, let's rename the default Active Directory sites which we have with the name default first site name. Let's right click here and select rename. I'm going to give name Mumbai HO. Let's press enter key and now you can see our site is renamed to Mumbai HO. So one thing I forgot to tell you about before you start creating Active Directory sites and services, you have to check that whether your domain controllers are able to replicate or not. See, before starting the video recording, already I have checked uh, all the domain controllers are able to successfully replicate with other domain controllers. Now let's create two more Active Directory sites by clicking on sites and selecting new site. Here I'm going to specify the name Delhi Bio. Uh, it is for Delhi branch office. Now here you can see we have something. If I directly try to click on OK button, this box is gray out. The reason because we need to select inter-site transfer protocol which we are going to use to transfer data between multiple Active Directory sites. Now what is this? What is default IP site link? The default IP site link is the transfer that the site will use to communicate with other sites and this one is based on IP. Actually it is going to use RPC over TCP IP. So this is the link on which Active Directory sites are going to transfer the data. Let's click on OK. Let's click on OK. Now I'm going to create one more site. And this time I'm going to give name Bengaluru Bio. OK, let's again select default IP site link. Click on OK. So now we have three Active Directory sites as per our requirement. But now it's time to define subnets as well. Now first of all, if we click on subnets and if you see right now we don't have any subnets created under our Active Directory sites and services console. So question is, what is a subnet? 
So subnets are the IP ranges that are associated with the specific Active Directory sites. Domain controllers and clients are going to use the subnets you have defined to determine what site they are in. And remember, subnets can be assigned only to one Active Directory site and can be IP version 4 or IP version 6 subnet. So let's create a subnet for our Active Directory sites. Again, let's take a look at our topology. Here you can see the network is 172.18.72.0/24 network. We have for Mumbai HO. Same for Delhi and Bengaluru. As you can see, two more networks are there. So let's create associated subnets in our Active Directory. Let's right click on subnets and select new subnet. 172.18.72.0. Slash 24, this is the subnet which you want to associate with Mumbai HO. Click on OK. And let me show you the IP address which we have on our DC01. This is the IP address and that's why we have created subnet with this network range. Now it's time to create subnet for our Delhi branch office which is going to be 192.168.72.0 slash 24. Let's select Delhi branch office. Click on OK. Fine, let's again create a subnet 10.10.72.0/24, which is going to be the subnet for our Bengaluru branch office. Let's select Bengaluru branch office and click on OK. So suppose if you have a multiple network within a single Active Directory sites, you can define subnet as well. If you right click on it and select subnet, still we have options. Suppose we have another network here and if you want to define that subnet with the for example, Mumbai HO, that, I'm, that option is still available to you. In short, I want to say that you can create multiple subnet for one Active Directory site. Let's click on cancel. So now we have associated subnet as well. We have created Active Directory sites and subnets, but it's time to move our domain controller, which is currently in single Active Directory site. We want to move them to their associated Active Directory sites. So let's move Delhi-DC03 to Delhi branch office. Uh, right now, our all servers are under Mumbai HO. So let's select Delhi DC03. See, you can drag and drop them to the Active Directory site, but simply we are going to right click on it and select move. It will give you options that in which site you want to move the server. So we are going to select Delhi branch office. Click on OK and fine. Now, if we expand Delhi branch office, we have our server Delhi iPhone DC03. Let's do the same for Bengaluru domain controller. Let's right click there, select move and let's select Bengaluru branch office. Click on OK. Then we have successfully created Active Directory sites and subnets for our Windows Server 2019 Active Directory environment. One more thing that I want to mention is that now when you add another domain controller to one of your sites, the correct site will automatically get selected during the Active Directory Domain Services installation wizard based on the configured subnet. So whatever IP you have on that server, based on that IP address, that domain controller will be placed on that associated Active Directory sites. Now suppose if you have an IP address 192.168.72. something, that time that server will be automatically placed under our Delhi branch office. First of all, we want to check the replication as well because we have modified all the changes on our root domain controller, means our DC01 and we want to check that whether this data has been replicated to other domain controllers or not. Let me show you, this is the, our DC01 where we have configured everything. Now let's move to our other domain controller. This is Delhi DC03. Let's open Active Directory Sites and Services Console. Let's expand Sites. And here you can see that data is reflected on this domain controller as well. Let's expand Delhi branch office site. And here we have a, our Delhi server. Let's right click on NTDS settings. Go for all tasks. Check replication topology. Click on OK. Right click and select refresh. Fine. This link is coming from DC02. And this link is coming from our Bangalore domain controller. Fine, so Delhi DC03 is able to successfully replicate with other domain controller. Now let's check for our DC02, which is in a same site, just like DC01 in a Mumbai head office site. Let's click on tools, select active directory sites and services. 
here we can also see sites are there let's expand mumbai head office let's expand servers and here we have our dc02 let's expand it as well let's select entity as settings right click on it all task check replication topology click on ok right click and select refresh now here we have a two link one from delhi domain controller and the second one is the same domain controller which we have in our mumbai site This is the our Bengaluru DC. Let's click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Let's expand Sites and let's expand Bengaluru site. Expand Servers. Expand Bengaluru DC04. Right-click on Entity Settings. All Task Check Replication Topology. Click on OK. Right-click and select Refresh. Okay, now here you can see we have only one link that is coming from our Delhi DC03. Okay, it is able to replicate with Delhi DC03. Fine, so now all domain controllers are able to successfully replicate data with other domain controllers and whatever changes we have made on our DC01, that is you can see it is reflecting on other domain controller as well. So you can also run a PowerShell commands Let's check a rapid means less Q command. Here you can see there's nothing in a Q because already everything is replicated successfully. Uh, let's run command. Repel summary. And here you can see replication has been completed successfully. There's no failures. Here you can see it is all zero. Okay, so we can simply say after seeing this, we can say that we have successfully created Active Directory sites and services on our domain controller and that changes has been successfully replicated across our all four domain controllers. Now that we are done creating sites, it's time to configure and tune replication between them. Create site links and assign preferred bridgehead servers to transport protocol. But that we are going to see in the next video demonstration. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video on how to create sites and subnets in Windows Server 2019 Active Directory environment. Thank you all for watching this video.